Hey, this is the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. On this version, this is question number 4. This is kind of a longer one, maybe. Select all expressions that are equivalent to this really long expression that they have. So there's a bunch of ways that we can deal with this. And the first is simply to treat it as a distributive property question. So that's the first thing I'm going to do as soon as my uh, pen starts to work. There we go. Um, so negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10x. Negative 2 times negative 1. I always treat these, even though I know it's 5x minus 1, I treat it when I'm multiplying as a negative. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And then I go to the next section. I say positive 7 times 5 is 35x. And then positive 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Then I'll do, I'll treat this as a negative 3 because Again, if I'm adding and subtracting, I treat it like it's a subtraction sign. If I'm multiplying or dividing, I treat it like a negative. So negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15x. And negative 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Now, I need to see, does any of this match up? So negative 10x plus 2, that's looking pretty good. Plus 37 minus 7. Plus, uh, oh, wah, wah. So this one fails because... I remember to do um, negative 3 and then times negative 15, which gives me positive 15. In fact, I might even circle these when I'm doing them just so I don't lose the sign because that's really where that problem gets missed. And it's very likely that you pick this one even though it's not one of the correct answers. This one is obviously not correct. It's a mess because what they were doing was only multiplying by the first term and leaving the second. So that's all out. Uh, now what I can do is continue to simplify by combining like terms. Negative 10 plus 35 would be 35 minus 10, that's 25, plus 15 more would be 40, so 40x. And in this case, I might underline these, and then I tend to put my um, constants in some sort of triangle. I don't know why, I just started doing that years ago. But and I, If it's x squared, I put two lines, that whole thing just to make it easier for me to find like terms. 2 minus 7 gives me negative 5, and then minus 3 gives me negative 8. Or you could do negative 7 minus 3, which is negative 10, plus 2 gives you negative 8. So 40x minus 8. And that's one of my choices. This 10x thing is out. What's the other thing? What's all this nonsense about? Well, the reality is that if we look at the terms that are being... Uh, what terms we're distributing to this expression, 5x minus 1, it's the same twice, right? And the only difference here is that signs are completely different. So if I have 5x minus 1 and 5x minus 1, and then this is negative 5x plus 1, you'll notice that this is negative and this is positive. We can change those signs using another distributive. So we'll just do negative 1. Negative 1 times 5 is 5x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Now they're all the same, right? I just need to apply this to this. So this becomes, the negative 2 is perfect. The plus 7 works great. And then negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So I end up with this as also an answer. Because then I just multiply this whole term times 5x minus 1. Like, what? Why does that work? Well, if I did 3 times 15 plus 4 times 15 minus 3 times 15, or plus 3 times 15. These are all the same term, right? So I could just do 15 times 3 plus 4 plus 3, which is uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. This and this will give me the same answer. So I'm allowed to do that. That's how distributive property works, or one of its components anyway. So the thing that was different here is that one of them didn't match. So be careful because the easy move would just be like, well, it's this one because it has minus 3, right? But because I needed to change that sign, I also needed to change that sign on the minus 3 to make it plus 3. Don't let them get you. That's what they're trying to do. So the answer to number 4 is S and T. Not a super difficult question, but this is a really, really easy question to mess up a sign on and get incorrect. So make sure that even if you think conceptually not super difficult, you're very meticulous because that's what it really takes as you move up into the high school math 
um, and through middle school is just to make sure that you, you know, get all your signs in order and keep those organized, and then the rest of it tends to fall into place.